Peace and love. Peace and love. On my way to work. And, uh, man, how y'all feeling? Hope y'all, <clears throat> hope you're feeling all right. Um, I'm all right today. And, and I don't mean all right in a bad way. Like, uh, I'm good. I guess I should have said I'm good. Uh, but I'm like, just kind of like in thought and in observation right now. Like, uh, just been kind of observing the world around me and, uh, you know, just, uh, I don't know if y'all hear that noise. There's an acorn somewhere in, in the hood of my car. <laughs> and every time I turn, it just rolls from one side to the other. But, uh, yeah, so I've been, like, in just in just, uh, deep thought and observation. Um, really kind of, like, all weekend into, like, today is Thursday, so it's really, like, all weekend prior and then you know this whole week has been kind of just like and it's, it's been kind of you know uh, reflecting just thinking about some things uh, seeing some things understanding some things things that have been going on things I've been feeling things I've been seeing things I've been hearing and just um kind of taking it all in and I definitely believe that there is some elevation on the horizon I believe there's about to be a period of elevation and I don't I don't want to and I'm not attempting to single me out and say I'm the only one I'm going to be elevated I'm going to be this or that uh, that's not what I'm saying um, but I am saying that I do believe that there will be some sort of elevation coming soon in my life. Um, not because I'm so great. Not because I'm perfect. Not because I'm better than. Not because I'm above. Not because I'm first. Uh, not because um, I've been the greatest example. But Rather because of a choice. Life uh, puts us in situations sometimes where we have to make choices. Now, it could be choices as simple as your day-to-day -day choices. Or you got to choose whether or not you want to go to the bathroom. You know, when, when it's time to, to pee. It could be something as simple as that. It could be choosing to brush your teeth when you wake up in the morning. That's a choice. Choosing to bathe. What you're going to eat. That's a choice. For some. Because for some people it's not a choice. Some people have to eat whatever is, is given or offered or available. Some of us make a choice 
as to what we eat. So every day we're faced with choices and each choice has some sort of outcome or, or consequence. Consequences always seem so negative uh, when, when talking to people. So uh, I don't know if consequence is the word I want to use in this instance because I don't want to make it seem like all right, you choose this or something bad is gonna have, there's gonna be a consequence if you choose this. Uh, I'll just say that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Um, so, I won't call it a consequence, but I'll say that certain choices you make, there will be a response or a reaction to that choice. Oh, a little part. So, um, here lately I, I've, I've been, uh, like I say, just in a very uh, observational place and just kind of paying attention to things that are going on around me. And there have been so many lessons back to back to back to back back like I mean there have been so many so many and uh, it, it was almost to the point like I'm like <laughs> how many lessons am I supposed to learn in a period of time and um I think it's like the answer to that from from what I'm experiencing is like as many as you can handle. You know, however many you can handle at a time. <laughs> I'm, I'm and saying that is like it reminds me of of you know uh, some. A saying of, you know, he won't put more on you than you can bear. I've, I've always heard that growing up in church. And uh, it's kind of like, man, that that, that has a, a different feel today, you know, than it, than it did then. Like, you know, it's not, maybe I can handle all these lessons at, at this time. You know, maybe it's, it's not that uh, it's too many for me to handle. Maybe I've grown to a place that I can get all these lessons at one time and, and understand each one of them because I feel like I have and, and you know it, it, it's been a choice to continue on this path because I'll be honest and I've said it before this isn't easy choosing this path was not an easy choice it was not an easy decision because there are so many things that I personally want to do or wanted to do and they may not have been in my best interest but there's still some things I wanted to do and that's being honest with myself there's, there's a lot of things I still wanted to do out here in the world you know uh, and, and a lot of it is just you know from from Growing up and, and, and having dreams and ideas, and it's, it's not to say you can't fulfill those those dreams, but some of those dreams meant you no good. Some of them were fantasies, you know. Uh, some of them had you doing a lot of stuff, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I don't know what all you thought about doing as a kid or as a teenager or, you know what kind of thoughts and ideas and plans you were making for your future but as you grow older and gain more wisdom and understanding you you realize that certain things uh, uh, aren't necessarily good for you uh, and and uh, sometimes if you don't come to a place of processing those things 
those thoughts will always kind of hang around in your mind. You know, it's not even to say that those thoughts represent who you are today, but if you've never actually, uh, you know, remove those thoughts and replace them with new, um, healthier and, and more productive, more positive thoughts, then that stuff will kind of still linger around back there and may reveal itself at some time. They may, they may, they may come to the forefront at some time. And if you're not disciplined enough or strong enough to, um, silence those or to see, recognize and remove those, then uh, you might end up acting on them, you know, and, and um, that could cause you to, you know, I don't want to say nothing bad to happen to you. I don't want to say consequence again, uh, but, you know, it could just put you in a place of uh, stagnance. Is that a word? Being stagnant, you know, circulating but not elevating. So um, I think that once you are seeing these things, learning these lessons, and then you choose to continue on the journey, um, I believe that's when true elevation comes. So uh, this isn't a, a voice of arrogance or, you know, like, uh, like I'm telling y'all I'm about to go up, you know, type of vibe. And what I'm saying, but I am saying that uh, I have chosen to continue on this journey, to continue on uh, this path towards a righteous life. And um, in doing so, you know, there's some choices that have to be made. There are some sacrifices that have to be made. And every choice, every sacrifice um, won't necessarily just feel good all the time, you know? I, I think that's what makes a sacrifice a sacrifice. It's like, if, if, if you ask me to sacrifice licorice, uh that wouldn't be much of a sacrifice for me because I don't even like licorice. So that, I mean, that would be an easy call. Like, say less. Done. <laughs> I'll never eat licorice again. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't even know. I don't think I've even touched, touched licorice since I was probably about maybe seven or something or eight. And I got that, yeah, that, that taste in my mouth. I'll never touch that again. I, I have not touched licorice since since then. So, um, you asking me to sacrifice that, that's nothing to me. Um, so, I, for me, that wouldn't really be a sacrifice because it's not like I'm giving up anything. Um, to me, the sacrifice is, is something a little bit more serious, something that means more to you, something that's hard to let go of, something that's hard to be without, something that is hard uh, to see yourself not doing or not being or not having, uh, something that you feel like you can't live without. Um, and, and that comes from from just how we live and, and, and um, we develop uh, these attachments and, and these loves for certain uh people, places, and things, and those things we become um, so consumed with that we we tend to lose sight of where we're going, and we'll, 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 we'll start circulating but not elevating, and uh, it's, it's when we choose that, okay, now it's time to continue on, you know what I'm saying? I've been in this place for a period of time and now it's time for me to move forward. It doesn't mean that I want, I won't miss uh, certain places or, or, or certain things or certain people. 
um, because that's natural. You will, especially if you're you're connected to things or connected to people, connected to places. If there's a connection there, you know, uh, we've even been thinking about uh, moving, and it's not recent. I mean, it is recent, but it's not like we just started thinking about it. We've been thinking about moving for a couple of years. Uh, I remember job searching in Orlando in probably probably 2010 or 11, I think it was. I was thinking about moving to Orlando. I, uh, I was looking for jobs and living down there. I was going to probably make that move. Um, I even thought about going by myself at first because I got family there. I, I even considered going by myself at first and then just kind of um, making my way, you know, um, you know, to eventually, once I get established, to bring my family on, you know. But um, now we've been thinking about, you know, the idea of, well, I ain't going to say all that. <laughs> I ain't gonna say what state, but anyway, you know, just the idea of moving. But it's like, on one hand, you you you're thinking like, but but if I leave Macon, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like, cause you're attached. I'm attached. Macon is where I was born. You know, I didn't grow up here, but I've been back here for enough years, and and now I've, I think. Um, I've definitely been in Macon longer than I than I was in North Carolina. I was in North Carolina for 14 years. Um, so I guess that would mean I've been in Macon for 23 years. Um, so, you know, it's like you get attached. It's hard to see yourself moving on from it. But um, sometimes it's necessary for you to really grow into who you need to be. Um, sometimes staying in certain places or, or, you know, for too long can stunt your growth. Um, and it doesn't mean that there's just something wrong with where you are, but it is, uh, you've created it or you've, you've built it to be something that's comfortable. And then uh, it kind of stops you from pushing yourself it stops you from uh or either it gives you the motivation to push yourself uh beyond where you've been so i'm thankful for all these lessons that have come here recently and uh have given me just such greater understanding and wisdom and knowledge uh, and helped me understand you know kind of helping me to understand what my next moves look like and um, I'm ready. I'm ready for this this elevation that I I truly believe comes as a result of the choice to continue to let go of this place that I'm in, to let go of how I think at this time, you know, to, to let go of of limiting thoughts and, and limiting ideas that say this is all that I am. Because there's so much more, but I can't get to the so much more if I'm holding on to where I am now. They come like that. I don't know. I don't know. Peace and love.